this evening, and we're going to talk about something uh, called melanin. It's what everyone is concerned about in the world. It's what they have a meeting about every three to five years. Germany, Italy, France, the U.S., they meet every three to five years and have a melanin convention and discuss the latest research in melanin. They have never invited a black scientist to that meeting in history. So we have had our own melanin conferences where we discuss this information involving melanin. Melanin is commonly associated with the pigment that causes your skin to be brown. So we figure that that's what melanin is about. But it's a little more than just the pigment that makes your skin brown. It's what we call a chemical key to life. The more melanin you have, the more civilized you are. The more melanin you have, the more psychic you are. The more melanin you have, the more information your brain can store. The more melanin you have, the faster the nerve transmissions are. The more melanin you have, the more sound you absorb in your ear, so you hear the full range of sound. No other race can do that. The more melanin you have, the more color you can absorb in your eyes. That's why your eyes are brown. You actually see the full color. You see this color where white folks see a pale at hand. Because the more melanin you have, the more you can see what God has meant for you to see. The more melanin you have in your taste buds, the more you can taste the full flavor of the food. No other race can taste an apple like you can because they can't absorb the full flavor because you need melanin to absorb the full flavor of food. That's why we combine food differently from other races because we actually can taste the food. That's because of the high amount of melanin we have, which we sometimes take for granted. Melanin is the chemical key to life. There is nothing else to study in science but melanin. We call it chemi, which means black. The people who study melanin particles call what they're studying, the scientists call chemistry, which you call chemistry, the study of melanin particles that go around in an orbit, and we call them electrons, protons, solitons. Those are melanin particles. That's why we call it chemistry. And the country you come from is called chemit which some people call Egypt. There is nothing else to study but melanin. And if you study chemistry or heard of chemistry and haven't heard the word melanin, you have just been studying social science. You go into a classroom and you call it biology, but biology is the way melanin controls the cell. And we call that little melanin sitting in the cell the new sun, the nucleus. The new sun radiates information and tells the cell how to operate, how to think, how to digest. That's melanin. Biology is the study of melanin and how it communicates. There's nothing else to study in if you're going into the living sciences. Melanin plays a part in your historical memory. The more melanin you have, the more you're connected to your ancestors. You can pull on thoughts that you didn't even know were there because melanin gives you ancestral memory. That's based on melanin. That's how we classify races, based on their melanin content. It's not the quality of melanin in your skin we're talking about. It doesn't mean a light-skinned brother is less black than you are. We're talking about the melanin that's produced inside their body by the pineal gland. That's the melanin we measure. Every living thing has to have melanin. White people have it, but they have a lesser amount. And their melanin is different from your melanin. Their melanin has sulfur in the nipple, and your melanin has selenium in the nipple. There are two different types of melanin that could not biologically come down the same tree. That's physiologically impossible for a white person to evolve from a black person. There's two different melanins. That's why every scientist says that theory of evolution will never say it's a fact. Never. 
say it's the theory of evolution. It's not a fact. Theories are something you need to just get through the day. I have a theory that I'm going to be a millionaire. It helps me get through a day. But I don't know. I know it's not real. It's just a theory. And we use theories just to get through information in science. It just helps us to focus stuff. But we, don't, we know they're not facts. So we never say the fact of evolution. It's a theory. It helps us focus our information, get through some research. That's all. And when we finish with the theory, we throw it away. But you pick it up and think it's a real thing. This is really a fact. No, it is not. The stuff we make up to get through the day, keep us focused, the theory of evolution, the theory of the speed of light, the theory of, of gravity, the theory of this and that, they're all theories. Can't prove none of it. Theory, theories. And so you know many of them, but you know few facts. And we're talking about the fact of melanin. We're not talking about theories right now. We know more about theories about science than we know about science. We say a theory. What comes around goes around. That's a theory. What goes up must come down. That light's up there. Why don't it fall down on the ground? You say what goes up must come down. Why don't that light fall down? What are you talking about? What goes up doesn't have to come down. It's, it's a theory. So you have this melanin in your body, and it's primary secreted, made in your intestines. It's made in all parts of your body, like blood cells are made in all parts of your body. It's primarily secreted by a gland called the pineal gland which is in the center of your brain and a water-filled space called the third ventricle. And inside of this ventricle, this water-filled space in your center of your brain is the pineal gland. It's about the size of a pea, a green pea, and it's shaped like a pine cone, thus the name pineal gland. It, um, of course, spins like the planets do. It has rotations, which originally set in motion by hearing your father and smelling your mother. It causes a lateral and horizontal quiver reaction in the pineal gland that causes the child to, to be bonded to you <coughs> in a special way that they can't be bonded to a, a parent that adopts them. This is the pineal gland. The problem with the pineal gland is most of the information is controlled by the military. And the military use that to invent what you call computer chips today. The computer chips crystallize as sim similar to the melanin. All we know is that if you want to create a drug, you have to destroy, speed up, or slow down melanin. There's a chemist uh, who uh, founded a uh, chemical company called Eli Lilly that makes uh, Prozac and other drugs. He said a drug that doesn't work on melanin is not a drug at all. And that's how we measure whether a drug is effective or not. We call it the half-life, how long it takes a drug to spike its highest level of uh, action. So we measure drugs' action by, well, it slows down or speeds up or destroys melanin. The primary reason why we don't know anything about melanin is because no one black has ever been invited to the melanin conferences held by white people, Japanese people, Germans, and Italians in history. They hold a conference about you, and none of us are ever invited. We have it every three years. They are always studying and updating information on melanin. That's how you control behaviors. That's what you call the nucleus of the cell. Every cell has a brain, and the brain of the cells in your body is melanin. So to study melanin is to study biology. But they never mention the word melanin in a biology class because they don't want to get you aware of what's really going on. Then we study melanin particles called electrons and protons and solitons and neutrons. We started, we start calling that chemi after the word chemit. And you study melanin particles and we call that chemistry. But they're never going to tell you to study melanin because you may get wise to the game. And know that the only thing there is to study is you on this planet. All devices are caused, uh, caused by the ability of melanin to create different kind of energy force fields, as people like to say today. It causes energy to spin, 
to the left and to the right, which we call DL and L phenylalanine and L glutamine. We give it the names based on spinning. We do that a lot in chemistry. We name things about after how it spins, or we name things after the color, riboflavins, rutins, bottleflavonoids. We get things names by color. We get things named by numbers, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3. And we get things numbered by Latin names, omega, beta, omega-3, those are Latin names that we give substances. All we do is rename the same thing, same thing but switch the, thing, the way in which we name it. One time we name it by letters, the next time we name it by colors, the next time we name it by numbers, and then you sit there totally behooved at what's going on, and all we're doing is talk about you, black. But the idea is to keep, keep you totally confused and to some way manipulate your melanin. As I mentioned before, a lot of the research is done by the military because they need to know this. This is how you cause people to be dysfunctional. This is how you cause people to be functional. It's by your ability to manipulate and control melanin. Now, there's some black people who don't think they're black, because they're not as black as uh, someone from Somalia or something. But that man is just as black as that man. It's the melanin inside of his body that we measure, not the skin. It's the melanin inside of his body that we measure. Because you can meet some coconuts that are just as white as some, and you know what I'm saying. So we measure the melanin inside of the body, not the skin melanin, because this can change. Melanin is a very adaptive kind of chemical. That's why the people that can endure the most cold weather in the world are Eskimos, and they are colored people. They are not white, because the melanin has adaptive ability, what you call evolution. We don't want you to know that all it is is we're talking about is adaptation, which is caused by melanin. So we say evolution. 